Hey there, Big Ten Hoops fans. BTN analyst John Crispin here, and it's time for Power Rankings. Now, we should clear the air. Power Rankings to me, maybe I didn't get a memo or didn't get instructions. Power Rankings to me are more about the conference race. I, I could care less about what's happening throughout the country when it comes to winning the regular season Big Ten title. And right now, that's why Purdue is at number one. They, they've got the best schedule in, in terms of being able to close things out. If they take care of their business, they're going to at least win a share of the Big Ten crown. That's why I got them at number one. Michigan State, I get. People look at that win at Michigan, and you got to say, how are they not the best team in the conference? And they very well may be. But in terms of finishing things out, I look at two games. Obviously, it's the Michigan game on, on March 9th. But really, March 2nd at Indiana, to me, is a really, really tough test for a Michigan State team that's going to face fatigue more so than anything else. We know about no Nick Ward, no Joshua Langford, but it's also Kyle Arns. You lose Kyle Arns, has, has been iffy with the back. Uh, that's going to be a real challenge. So, so you want to see if they can fight the fatigue and still finish strong. Uh, down the list is where things get interesting. 8, 9, 10, 11. Rutgers at 8, Illinois at 9, Minnesota at 10, and Indiana at 11. Indiana is playing at a really high level right now. Defense has been really good. Offense, lacking consistency, uh, not a very dynamic attack, and I think that's what's kept them from winning basketball games. And, you know, as they grow in time in the program, they get more comfortable with the Big Ten. You know, coaches get better at better at, at figuring each other out and knowing how to attack what they do. And I, I look to see that from Archie Miller as time goes on. But you think about Wednesday at the Big Ten tournament, if things shape up the way it is, Indiana, Penn State, Nebraska, and Northwestern all playing on Wednesday. Those are all really capable teams, very good defensive teams, but teams that if they get hot would be a tough out for those Thursday teams that it may need a win or two to stay in the NCAA tournament conversation. As usual, it's going to be an interesting Big Ten tournament. I'm looking forward to it.